Have you received a collection letter from ProCollect? Hi, I'm consumer protection attorney Bill Clant, and I've helped hundreds of consumers, that's regular folks like me and you, deal with debt collection harassment, inaccurate credit reporting, and other consumer-related matters. In this video, I'll be talking about ProCollect and what you should look out for if they're trying to collect some rental debt that you may or may not owe. So ProCollect is a um, rental debt collection company. That's their primary focus. When I say rental debt, I mean debts that are created from apartment complexes or rental properties uh, that, that you, as a tenant of those properties, um, are alleged to owe. Now I say alleged because rental debts are usually highly contested. When you move out, you may move out with the front office saying, hey, you, you can move out. Uh, you're, we'll, we're not going to enforce the rest of your lease. You're free to move on. Good luck. And the back office says, wait a minute, you've got two months left on your lease. You have to pay two months of rent to get out of this lease. So there's miscommunications within the apartment complex. Then sometimes you move out and they don't send you your uh, security deposit. They'll, uh, they'll say, well, you didn't leave a forwarding address and you know you did. Another thing that happens is they say you damaged the apartment even though you've taken pictures and can prove you didn't damage it, they'll say you damaged it and your security deposit is not enough to cover those damages. And then, then they'll try to collect that and it'll get forwarded to ProCollect. So those are the types of debts that ProCollect collects and they're contentious. There's no agreement about the amounts owed and um, their uh, consumers have a lot of defenses to these debts. So what I've seen ProCollect doing lately, and this is something you need to look out for, is if you get a letter from ProCollect, it'll say you owe this amount, and it'll say there's a collection fee of another amount, and the total is the third amount. Now, you look at your credit report, it only has the first amount. It does not include the collection fee. So do you owe the amount alleged plus the collection fee, or do you only owe the amount alleged? That's a good question because there's a difference in the amount they say you owe on the collection letter and what's being reported on your credit report. They both can't be true. Now, another thing is if you look at your lease agreement, your rental agreement for the property, it may not include a collection fee. They may not be able to legally charge you that fee. So, what ProCollect may be doing in your case is giving you an inaccurate amount of the debt and trying to collect a fee they're not allowed to collect. If you're dealing with ProCollect, you need to know about three powerful laws that protect you, the FDCPA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and the TCPA. Now, ProCollect does credit reporting and they do collection letters. I'm not sure how much calling they do. So the TCPA may not be the the, the best law to prosecute them under, but certainly if they're reporting an inaccurate amount or they are collecting an inaccurate amount or fees they're not entitled to, you likely have a claim under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act and the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Look at those letters closely, save them and the envelopes they come in. And when you're ready to take action or if you have questions about the collection tactics of ProCollect, give me a call. Thanks for watching.